Welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Matt Passaccio. Today, we'll be interviewing Marlboro High's boys basketball coach, Brian Riley. Brian, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us here Thanks, today. Matt. Now, for those who aren't familiar with you, can you explain to us a little about your playing history? Yeah, I, um, I moved out to the Wachusett District when I was about 9 or 10, and I uh, ended up going to Wachusett Regional High, and I played there four years under Coach Tom Gibbons, um, and we had a lot of success. Uh, he's one of the better coaches around here and still is. Um, then uh, I was crewed to play at Nichols College where I played for four years. I was a um, captain my senior year and um, since then I've entered the coaching range which I've enjoyed very much. Now explain to us how you went from coaching here and where you came from. Yeah well when I graduated college I wasn't planning on getting into it but I got a call from my former coach Tom Gibbons and he said hey do you want to coach the freshman team and um, I was only about 22 at the time, 23, and I said, yeah, sure. And so that's kind of how it started for me. And um, eventually I was able to move up to the JVs where I was there for three years. And um, when this job came about, um, I thought it would, was a good opportunity for myself. Uh, with, you know, as growing up, my Uncle Rich was the athletic director here, so I always kind of knew um, what Marlboro kids were about. And, you know, they had had a couple few rough seasons and, um, I just thought it was a good opportunity for myself to venture out and try to get my own gig and, and try to be a part of something bigger than myself. And um, I was able to, to get the job, and uh, it's kind of taken off from there, and it's been a great three years. Great. Now, you're coming from Wachusett. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the difference between the culture, say, like a Wachusett, compared to what you deal with on a daily basis here in Melbourne? Yeah, I mean, you know, kids are kids, and in basketball, um, for me, is has always been the same. You know, you preach and you teach the same things. Um, the level of athleticism and the type of kids you get can be different from town to town. But I, I would say it's it's kind of similar in the sense that we get we have tough kids and we have kids who enjoy playing the game and love being a part of our team. Um, you know, the difference would be, I would say, uh, I think we get a little bit more athletic kids out here, um, kind of more of a, a city mentality at that, and um, it's been a real joy to be here. So what would, you see, what would you say is your particular coaching style, and what do you feel is the best approach teaching high school athletics? I think, to answer your first question, our, our coaching staff, I think we preach um, defense first. I think any part that I've been a, any team that I've been a part of in the past coaching or playing um, it's always been a defensive mentality this game is one on that end so that's what we try to communicate to the kids that we try to get them to play hard and, and defend smartly and I think that's been our staple over the past few years is a defense first team offense second because uh, all great championship teams defend and that's kind of the approach we take on a day-to-day -day basis and um, what was your second question? Oh, the second part was what's your particular coaching style? Uh, style, you know, how we communicate to the kids right. is, you know, through drills and fundamentals. I think the most important thing for kids this age, especially in high school, are the fundamentals. I think you see a lack thereof around there in the youth leagues of not developing footwork and correct mechanics and um, squaring up to the hoop and even as simple as passing, I think even with our varsity kids, we tend to um, go back to the fundamentals and, and, and back to discipline, discipline play. And um, that's kind of how we teach this game. And that's kind of the only way I know how to teach it. Now, when you're talking about discipline, um, do you carry that out in an approach where you will be a little bit uh, more boisterous with the players? Do you take um, the approach of maybe yelling at times or do you try to be a little bit more toned down? We, we, yeah, we try to communicate in the manner that we think fit, we see fit. I think some kids um, need to, to hear it a little bit louder than others. I think every, every kid, just like I'm a teacher, every kid you teach differently, every kid you coach differently, I think. But collectively we have, this, we have the same rules and they know where we draw the line in the sand in terms of um, what they do on the court. I think the only time we really get angry or we, we tend to get loud is when we're not playing hard or playing smart and not doing the things that we can control. We're going to miss shots. Uh, we're going to have bad offensive games. But I think that comes back to the defensive mentality approach where, you know, anyone can play defense. It doesn't take the best basketball player in the world. And um, they, they understand that and, and They've, they've been great the past three years with it. We've really had three great teams that we love coaching and it makes it that much more enjoyable for us as coaches. Um, from an offensive standpoint, what type of, uh, what brand of basketball does Marlboro play? Now, do you play a, a fast 
paced, up tempo game and transition, mm -hmm. or do you like to slow it down a little bit and set things up in the half court set? I would say overall, we like to try to get up and down, but I think it's particular to the team we're playing. If we feel that it's advantageous for us to slow it down and, and make it a half court game, we try to do so. And if we think we can really push the ball and get some hoops in transition, we do so. I think for us, it's a preparation thing. And, you know, it, I think the, if the way we play in our style, where we take a defensive approach, it allows us to play multiple ways and win both and win multiple ways. So, um, I would say overall, we we really like, I think we have a lot of athletes that can get up and down. That's the way we play, um, and if we can, we do it. If not, um, you know, we're more than willing to sit in the half court and play. But it really just depends on who your particular opponent yeah. is that night. Yeah. What'll be best to help defeat that particular? Yeah. I mean, we run a lot of sets. We run, but you know. I, we say the kids, if we don't have to run offense, then that's even better. You know, we try to encourage them to push with the pass, get out and transition, run your lanes. But sometimes, you know, particular games doesn't allow don't don't allow us to do so. So you know, we, I think we just whatever it takes to win the game, that's what we're going to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now your team was able to advance to the state final in 2014. Now, what did that do for you as far as professionally, and how does that help the program going forward? Yeah, I think for me, it, professionally, I don't know how much it, it, it did for me. I think it was more um, for the kids. You know, I think at this level, particularly, it's it's all about, you know, we always talk to them, it's their team, it's not ours. We just, we're just the guiding coaches here in terms of what we expect and laying down expectations. But for them, you know, it's, it's their experience, you know, it's, it's how... Um, they prepare for games. It's the moments that they'll remember. And we always preach, you know, uh, enjoying the process, not the prize. And um, for our coach and staff, it, it's more enjoyable to see uh, their smile on their faces after all the work they put in and they were able to get that opportunity in the state championship. Um, it's more about them, less about us always. It seems like you really give them ownership of the process. You're just yeah. facilitators as opposed to being the authoritative figures that really control that. Yeah, I mean, we always talk about being honest around here. We're always honest with our players. We sit down and talk to them one-on-one -on -one individually probably four or five times a season to communicate. And, you know, it's at the end of the day, they're the ones playing. So, you know, if they feel as though that they have just as much ownership in the team's success as we do, then I think that makes us that much better from a chemistry standpoint, from a commitment standpoint, um, for, from a commitment, you know, to each other standpoint, I think it makes it that much better. So, okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. That's going to do it for this episode of Coach's Corner. We'll see you next time.